Have you ever felt that deep, overwhelming desire for something, almost as if it was meant to be part of your life? It seems as though, in some way, it's written in your destiny. That intense longing is just the beginning of the journey towards manifestation, but it's crucial to understand that merely wishing for something fervently doesn't guarantee its materialization. In this video, I'll guide you through the process of assuming your desire has already come to fruition, a vital step in the art of manifestation. Implementing the law of assumption in your ambitions and dreams involves an incredibly powerful mental exercise. It's about convincing your mind that what you yearn for is already part of your reality. Instead of just talking about your desires, you immerse yourself in the experience of actually possessing them. The law of assumption invites you to live out the emotions and sensations of having achieved your goals as if they were already a done deal. Therefore, I suggest taking a moment to experience and embody the emotions associated with your success. It's as if you were practicing the art of emitting the energy of your achievements. By indulging in these emotions, you're paving the way for the materialization of your dreams. This goes beyond mere positive thinking, it's about physically and emotionally embodying your aspirations. Now, dive in and discover how you can cultivate this powerful assumption within yourself. Are you ready to make it a reality? Let's explore together how to transform that desire into a force capable of materializing your dreams. The first step is to fully immerse yourself, and if you know me, you'll know I always recommend closing your eyes to begin this imaginative journey to access that inner world. Use your mind, your thoughts, and emotions to delve into how you would feel if you were already living your desire. Let's examine two practical examples, money and romantic relationships. If your desire is to manifest money, do the following, close your eyes, turn your attention inward, and start to evoke the sensation of having, for instance, $10,000 in your bank account. Don't get lost in the details, keep a general view. Imagine you already have that sum. How do you feel? Perhaps you experience a sense of expansion and abundance. There's a version of you that has already achieved this desire. By accessing it through your imagination, you'll notice a unique sensation, especially if you're currently facing financial limitations. This imaginative leap to a reality where you possess a significant amount of money can be liberating and exhilarating. Here lies the secret, capture that feeling. It's crucial, while you're immersed in this imaginative state, to embody the version of you that has already achieved what it desires. So, hold on to that feeling. It's like aiming at a specific target, the desired outcome. There's a unique emotional tone, almost like a vibration, associated with your thoughts but intimately linked to the possession of your desire. It's as if you're focusing your attention on a goal and, once you capture that emotion, it's extraordinary. Suppose it's about having those $10,000 in your account. You feel expansive, liberated, and genuinely excited. So, visualize that emotion. You've reached the goal, you've assumed your desire has been fulfilled, living as if it were already a reality. It's like tuning into a very specific frequency of possession. The trick is to constantly return to that emotion, to that internal experience, as often as possible. Why? Because the more you relive it, the more it becomes your predominant state. You're invoking the feeling of your desire realized. Let's delve into the realm of relationships, whether with a specific person or the search for new love. Close your eyes and dive into your interior. Imagine how you would feel if the person you love, your soulmate, fully reciprocated your love. Visualize being loved and chosen. What emotions overwhelm you? Start to evoke that internal experience. Feel the emotions of being desired, happy, and fulfilled. It's not necessary to verbalize it, but for explanatory purposes in this video, there are unique sensations associated with being in a relationship where you feel valued, adored, and committed. It's a special vibration, very different from feeling alone and unwanted. So, what's it like for you? Imagine and feel those relational dynamics and let's work together to make it a reality. When you feel desired, chosen, and adored, a unique vibration is generated in your being. How are you experiencing it? Perhaps you're using your mind to create images of that special person. Visualize them expressing those words you long to hear, I love you. I want to be with you. You're unique. 
Does this help you evoke the internal experience? The important thing is that this internal experience doesn't have to be overwhelming, it just needs to transform you. You should feel like someone who already possesses their desire, whether in that ideal relationship or with the money in the bank. This, my friend, is how you assume your desire has become a reality, how you affirm with certainty that it's already done. Capture that internal feeling of being the person in that relationship, of possessing that money. It has a unique quality, doesn't it? You start to feel a certain way, and your task is to maintain that internal state as much as possible. Practice this process. Visualize yourself in that relationship, feeling valued, adored, loved, desirable. I want you to immerse yourself in that feeling. It's not necessary to overthink it, keep it simple. Let it be a sensation of fulfillment, of feeling complete. What you're doing is moving away from those feelings of rejection, of not being chosen, of loneliness. Instead, you're training yourself to believe, I am desired. I am valued. I am loved. Let your body fill with emotion as if you've just received the keys to your dream house, an offer for your dream job, or found the love of your life. As you go about your day-to-day, -day, assume everything is working in your favor. It's not just about faking it till you make it, but weaving a tapestry of powerful magic. Commit to this belief and allow it to permeate every step of your path. You possess the power to shape your reality. The more you can experience these sensations in your being, the more deeply your beliefs will be rooted in every part of you. By practicing capturing the feeling of a desire fulfilled, you're rewriting your personal narrative. It's about freeing yourself from any limitations, doubts, or pessimism. Give your imagination full permission to overflow. You're in the midst of a powerful change. You, my friend, are transforming who you are, redefining your self-concept, and reshaping how you perceive yourself both individually and in a relationship. You're altering your essence, becoming someone loved, desired, prosperous, healthy, whatever you long for. As you become more familiar with this new perception of yourself, where being loved and desired is natural, it will begin to manifest externally. This is the core of manifestation. Once you truly understand it, it will become instinctive. Are you ready to seamlessly integrate this transformation into your being? It's not only straightforward but also immensely rewarding. So, dive into your inner world and evoke that magical internal experience of possessing your desires. Remember, everything is within your reach, there are no limits. This process is simple, it just requires your attention and the ability to generate that internal experience. As you become a master of this practice, the world will be your stage. Everything you desire can be yours. Thank you for joining me in this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, share your thoughts in the comments, and see you soon. Goodbye for now.